Sony pressures studios to make big cuts due to increased development costs. What do you guys think with the recent layoffs in general, but also the high budgets of these AAA titles because they have been astronomical this, this past year alone? The, the cost needs to come down for for these games. Yeah. We don't need these mega big titles. Anymore. You won't hear really Insomniac, you know, a lot of these other companies that treat their employees right, Santa Monica, right? Like, like they really, really are. They do a good job of projecting and whoever's their project manager is keeping all the pieces in, in line and not having to have unnecessary positions or or this and stuff like that because they know the, the caliper of what they're putting on is going to sell. So you can think of Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man, we talked about it last week, Rob. It was like upwards of like 300 mil. The bigger the title, the, the more cost it's going to be. I feel like if we're leaning towards that direction, it's just going to get worse. But I also think there's a way to give... It's about the experience, right? There's a way to give an audience a, a solid experience without it needing to be the AAA title, without it needing to be the cinematic experience, which I think what Sony is doing is a lot of trying to translate um, what you've seen in previous titles that had the big stories, that had the cinematic feeling, Last of Us, the God of War reboot, uh, and then going, okay, well, how do we like keep doing that? Because like this is this is what fucking kills. And even though Ghost of Tsushima is no different, right? Mm -hmm. While at the same time, they're also trying to in, step into like film and television. I think instead of instead of focusing so much on film and television, I would I wonder if it's possible for them to take a step back from what they're doing with film and television, especially with like the PlayStation Studios, divert a little bit of that back into keeping their stable of staff. And then look at what you can do with smaller titles. I mean, look at, uh, what was it, Sabotage Studios game from 2018, I think. And to me, that's where you start to get in those longer hours of gameplay where I go, okay, I can get like 30 hours in there. I can get 50 hours, 60 hours in this game. Because there's these fun things to explore and go, oh, I haven't figured out this room. There's something else. Oh, I got to go find that thing. And now it's, right. it's simple. It's just a fucking platform. But then I'm like, well, what, what little box can be broken? Is that a weak wall? Let me jump up there and figure that out. Or how do I get through this room? What's the puzzle? You don't need it to necessarily always be this uh, elaborate narrative experience. And while I, I thoroughly enjoy those, and I th it, especially seeing the way that the voiceover talent that we're getting nowadays and, and the advent of motion capture, I mean, it just rapidly propels these games into different territory. But does every fucking title need to be that? No, no. Right. Right. Naughty Dog, prime example. Their fucking tentpole was Crash Bandicoot. There's a reason that for Nintendo, it's Mario. For Sega, it's Sonic. And for PlayStation, it's Crash Bandicoot. He's the tentpole character. Mm -hmm. He's like, almost like the mascot. Where are those titles at? Right. Run, run some more of those titles where, and, and I don't know, but I would assume that that's cheaper than doing Last of Us 3. You see what I mean? Right. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Enough to go, great. Now we're in the green. Now let's go do Last of Us 3. They can also put the money towards marketing the game better for their game and stuff like that. Like that's where that money goes. I'm like, hey, streamer, play this game and try and get it to pop off, right? And just they can work their dollars that way instead of being like, we're gonna have to like make the biggest triple A. You know what I mean? Like, just here is a good game that's fun, but it's not gonna cost us like an arm and a leg to make. I mean, people are still gonna get a good experience off of it. So I would like to see more of those those kind of promoted games because streamers, like you said, are the, the people that are going to be promoting the games now.